Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jenny. So it has been a very long while since I've actually sat down to film. My last video was actually filmed like two months ago and I then just got it up like two or three weeks ago, however long that was. Um, with COVID-19 happening right now, I've had a lot of different things happening recently and um, so I just haven't had a chance to film anything in a very long time. But thankfully I am able to sit down and I am gonna kinda just do like a chit chatty get ready with me kinda situation. Kinda tell you the things that have been happening while putting on makeup. I haven't worn makeup in probably like at least two weeks. Um, but anytime I've been wearing makeup, it's just like because I'm bored. Um, not because I'm going anywhere, obviously. Anyway, so I am just gonna go ahead and just do my makeup. I don't know if I'm gonna tell you every single thing that I'm doing, but uh, we will go ahead and get started. I'm gonna prime with the No Pore Blown Primer from Touch and Soul. So when all of this happened, COVID-19 I mean, um, I was still working all up until the first week of May um, and then I was furloughed until either the end of July, um, early August, I'm hoping anyway. Um, so I am currently furloughed right now. I am thankfully able to get unemployment right now. Now I'm gonna go in with a mixture of the ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Tinted Moisturizer and the Burt's Bees Glowing, no, Goddess Glows Tinted Moisturizer. I'm gonna mix the two. This is a little bit light, this is a little dark, so it evens each other out. But what I was saying, so I am currently furloughed um, from work, but before that happened, I was working different shift than I normally do. I am the um, like administrative assistant for a food service um, at a university. And when all of the students were sent home for COVID-19 um, to do online classes, um, we were still feeding people, um, but not a lot, not as many because a lot went home. So the kids that were stuck on campus, international students, things like that, we were still feeding. Um, and unfortunately we had to lay off a bunch of our employees, like most of them. There was only four employees working and I was one of those four. My hours changed from the regular like eight to five to um, anywhere between nine, oh shoot, <laughs> anywhere between nine a.m. to seven p.m. or 11 a.m. to seven p.m. depending. Um, so it did switch up a little bit. I normally filmed in the evenings though, like after I got home from work. And so working an evening shift and then coming home and having to still, you know, do, household things like cook and clean and stuff. Um, it just kind of became hard. So I didn't film anything for that month almost. And then um, my sister moved to a new place. She works for a company where she can work from home, which is great. Um, but she was moving to a new place and had to like have her internet set up. Um, that was at the beginning of May. So she's been working out of this room. My computer is over here. And so she's been sitting at that desk. And so that's another reason I haven't been filming um, because she's just been in this room. Happy to help, don't, don't care, it's fine. Um, and she works from like nine to anywhere between 4.30 and like nine o'clock. So um, it just didn't really work with my filming schedule, which is fine. Her working is more important than me doing YouTube. But uh, she is actually off for the next week and a half-ish maybe a little longer, so I am going to try to do some bulk filming. But since she's been in here for about three weeks, um, there is just some like random clutter and everything. Her box of stuff is back here. Um, there's a cord in the floor, there's tables everywhere. So um, I haven't had a chance to really clean. Today is her first day off, but I really wanted to do a video. So here I am, don't mind the mess. I will clean it at some point. Um, but yeah, so life's been a little different as it is for most people right now. But in all of this craziness happening, um, knock on wood that everything goes well, it is right now, Ryan and I are in the process of buying a home. Um, it's not a great time to buy a home, as you know, because <laughs> we're in the middle of a pandemic and I am currently unemployed. But um, this house is a house that we have been interested in since the end of last year. It was actually up on like with Zillow, we use Zillow. Um, for most every house thing we've done so far, which is not a lot, but anyway, we saw this house online and uh, we contacted the realtor to go check it out. And as we were contacting her, she told us that the sellers had um, decided to take it off the market. So that was pretty disappointing, but you know, it happens. So, but we just continued on with life like normal. And then I noticed it came back up on Zillow and it was for sale by owner this time. So I did contact the seller and we went and looked at it. We really liked it. Uh, we never really jumped the gun. It was like first of the year, um, 
by the time we had decided, we had waited too long to pursue it. And she told us that they were already in contract with um, someone who wanted to buy the house. So, you know, we were sad, whatever. You know, once again, life goes on. The beginning of May, so I mean, this is happening pretty quickly. She contacted us again and said, hey, the contract fell through. We know you guys have came and looked at this house multiple times. If you want to come look at it again, because they were going to put it back up online, they were going to have people come look at it again. And so Ryan and I went and then we put in an offer and uh, everything's moving pretty quickly. We've had it inspected and everything. So knock on wood, everything's going smoothly. So hopefully in the next two-ish months or so, I, I'm hoping that it would be then, um, we will be in a new location. And so other than that, I really don't know that I have anything else to discuss. It's just, I wanted to let you guys know that I am not like MIA. I am still interested in makeup. I am still interested in YouTube. Um, it's just that life's pretty crazy for everyone. I'm sure your life is just as crazy as mine right now and up in the air and we're very thankful that Ryan's work is still, you know, working. Um, and I am thankful that I was able to get unemployment for the time being. I'm hoping I won't be on it very long. I hope you guys are doing well in all of this craziness. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. I forgot to mention the concealer I used is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid whatever creamy concealer. Um, it's my current favorite. And then the powder I'm going in with is the Cody Airspun powder. It is in a fancy jar that my friend made though. It's not the original packaging. I do have some video ideas lined up and my plan is, maybe not today, because um, I do have some plans later today to like not sit in the house all day. Um, but I'm going to try and film at least two videos a day just so I have stuff that I can put up and edit, especially while my sister is still working. Hopefully her internet will be set up soon because I'm sure um, she didn't expect to have to um, commute to a work from home job. It'll be nice to be able to film on my own schedule, but so I'm hoping, like I said a minute ago, and then didn't finish my thought, I'm hoping to be able to film at least two videos a day so I have some stuff to get up for you, so I have stuff to edit while she's in here, I can use my laptop downstairs. That was the Milk Makeup Powder in Translucent Medium. It is the Blur and Set. Going in with another powder, and this is the Becca What Are You Set and Refresh Powder. And I like to just take that under the eyes and the T-zone area. I do think it does a really good job of blurring. I do plan to do like my wedding makeup video. Um, I have a couple looks I wanna do, a couple, I do have like an empties video I wanna do, I have that set aside and planned. So let me know down in the comments below if, that, if you have something in mind that you would like to see from me. So I did go ahead and do my brows off camera and I don't know if it's because I haven't filled my eyebrows in in like two months or if the color's too dark, but it looks like I'm channeling my inner Scooby-Doo villain. So um, I'm gonna have to check out new pencil colors because now that I'm playing around with it, I feel like it's too dark. So what do you think? Is it too dark? Let me know. But since I haven't worn makeup in so long, I am gonna go full face and I am going to contour. This is just a little mini of the Kevin Aquan sculpt, Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium. So during all of this quarantine stuff, I have been playing a lot of Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Switch and fun story, I bought a Nintendo Switch two years ago on a Black Friday sale because Animal Crossing was supposed to come out um, early 2019 and then was pushed back to early 2020. So I had bought a Switch for no reason. <laughs> um, but I had found some games in between to fill the void. But so that Animal Crossing finally came out in um, March. Yeah, March 20th. And so I have been a Animal Crossing fan since I think GameCube came out first. I did not play that one, but the Animal Crossing on the original Nintendo DS, um, that's where it all started. And then I played on the Wii and then I played 3DS and now here I am for the Switch and it is so fun and I love it so much. It's literally the first thing I do in the morning. I wake up and talk to all my villagers and it's just a fun time. That was the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This is just the regular bronzer shade. For blush, I'm gonna go into this ColourPop one. It is a pressed powder from the Disney Designer Collection, um, the Enchanted Mirror shade. This is um, from the Masquerade Collection. I wanted to go for like a rosy kind of pink.
So I want your opinion, just because I'm curious. There has not been a lot of makeup releases like in the past two or three months, and this may or may not be because of everything happening in the world, but I just feel like there is not a lot that's interesting that's coming out. Like I haven't been intrigued by anything. Um, no real reason, I don't guess. The new Anastasia Norvina. Speaking of Anastasia, I'm going into the Amrezy highlighter. Um, but the new big volume four Norvina palette, that looks really pretty. Um, I can't justify dropping $60 on an eyeshadow palette right now. Um, but it is really pretty. That's probably the prettiest um, palette I've noticed or that's caught my eye recently. And I know the Jeffree Star, what is that called? Cremated palette? I know it's getting a lot of mixed reviews, um, just mostly for the timing, I think. Um, I haven't watched any actual swatching review videos, but I know like what Twitter is saying um, about how people are upset about the timing of the release, um, which I not, I don't know. I don't particularly like Jeffree Star. Um, and the only thing from his line that I've tried was one of his liquid lipsticks in Androgyny and it was really nice, um, but I, it was darker than I thought, so I gave it away. But um, yeah, so I don't know that I really have an opinion on that. I don't really follow any of his stuff. Speaking of Twitter, Makeup Geek actually posted a picture, I will put it up here, of a really pretty eyeshadow look. Um, and it listed these shades, so I will show those to you. I do have all of them. I do not have the new formulation. I can't justify buying all of the new when I have all of the old ones. Um, as these run out or get old or anything, I will probably replace them with the new formulation. But, so we have Chickadee, Creme Brulee. This is Cocoa Bear, but in the new one, it's Cheetah Bear. My understanding is they're the same. She just changed the name. Americano, Grandstand, and in the spotlight, these two are foiled. And it doesn't say how she applied them. So I am just going to apply them in some form or fashion. And I am just gonna take a fluffy brush and the creme brulee shade and just apply that in the crease. I did set some concealer on my eyelids as primer. So like I mentioned, um, they did not say how that look was created. They just listed the shadows. Um, so I am just going to kind of play around with them and see if I can make something similar. I just really liked that color story, um, the kind of warm and cool combination I thought was really beautiful. And I may or may not be leaving the house here in a little bit, so I did want it to be a little bit more of a wearable look. So now on a smaller brush, I am going to go into Cocoa Bear, Cheetah Bear, and just kind of keep this in the outer portion of the eye. Now with that same brush, I'm just going to dip into a little bit of Americano and focus this kind of like lower into the lash line and then like up into the crease, kind of. If that makes any sense at all, probably not. So I think the best way to apply the foiled shadows are with your finger and so I'm gonna go into Grandstand and focus that like on the center-ish area of the lid. No, I don't want to take it all the way through. <sighs> Makeup Geek's foiled shadows are literally, oh, they're gorgeous. So now I'm going into In the Spotlight. I'm just gonna focus that on the inner part of the lid. Now with a pencil brush, I am just going to take a little bit of Chickadee and Cocoa Cheetah Bear and run that on the lower lash line. So I did go ahead and finish up my eyes. I used a little bit of the Americano shade as just a really light liner on the top. The mascara I have on the top lashes are the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara mixed with the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. And then on the bottom lashes, I have the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny. I think these are really, really nice and I think they make my lashes look good. So to finish this look up, I have talked about this product before, but I do have a new shade. I did pick it up at CVS like two days ago and it is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Stained Glass Lip Gloss. This is the lip gloss that looks really, really shiny, um, but stays like in place, like it's kiss proof or whatever. Um, I think these are really, really awesome. Um, I really do wish that they had better colors um, because in person, like in the store, this looked more like a neutral kind of nudie brown. And then in person, it's 
like mauve-ish. Um, it is more neutral than the one I tried on before, which is this more like purpley mauve. Um, but this is more like a, this is more brown, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But so I do want to play with this one today. I have not put it on. So I do think this color is a overall a little bit more like wearable, more natural, if you will. Um, it went on really nicely. It's not patchy. It looks good. Um, I am excited to put it to the test and wear it today and just make sure it's the same quality as the other one. I'm assuming it is. I'm sure it is. Um, but I really like this formula. And if they came out with like more neutral, nudey, like nude pink, nude brown, things like that, like lighter, like natural shades, um, I would totally pick up every single one of them. That's super awesome that this stays glossy like this most of the time. It will eventually wear off like a satin or a gloss would naturally anyway, but then this does stain. So if you do get one of these, make sure that you're getting it inside the lines because it does kind of turn into a lip stain. But here is the final look. Wow, my hair has lost its marbles. Um, but this is the final look. I'm really happy to be back. Hopefully I can get up more content for you. I do have quite a few ideas ready. Um, I just have to film them. So thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe, please feel free. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.